Hey guys, it's Lizzie. So this video has been mega requested, asking me to show all the Catholic stuff I carry around in my purse. And guys who are watching this, this is still applicable to you because a lot of the stuff I keep in my wallet. time I'm wearing this necklace on my YouTube channel. I'll show you guys up close. It's really, really pretty. It's Our Lady of Guadalupe and a cross. I emptied out all my purses for this video. I will show you guys. It's all here in a pile. There's stuff distributed throughout multiple bags. So I just decided to show you everything. Today's video is sponsored by a Catholic company named Everyday Prayer Co. These are their rosary cards. My nails are matching the Vatican flag colors. It is a unique modern take on praying the rosary. There are 10 circles indented on each card so you can pray each decade. The rosary cards are the same size as a credit card so you can fit it in your wallet. They're very strong material though. They're not flimsy like a credit card but more of a metal feel. These come in white, black, pastel pink, also copper and steel. They are $12.50 per rosary card, which is so reasonable. Each rosary card comes with these ultra thin cards that have each set of mysteries. I chose to include the rosary cards in this video because it's about how to pray and practice your Catholicism on the go. 60% of my YouTube audience is guys, and you don't carry around giant purses like I do to fill with rosaries. So this is an amazing option. You can pray your rosary wherever you go. Also works for women of course if you're quickly swapping purses or bags and in a rush sometimes you'll forget to put a rosary in your current bag so they're linked below in the video description not only would these be sweet for yourself but i also think it'd be super sweet to give to the catholics in your life so we're gonna start with the first thing i see which is this mini saint damiano cross i think is the way to pronounce it but I have multiple of these. I have a big version. I have two mini ones. I got these at the Nashville Catholic Superstore next to the cathedral. They have so many amazing things there. So you see like the inside of the bag like that. I always put my cross inside this pocket so it doesn't get scratched or anything. I'll show you my purses real quick. So I have a black with flowers and then I have a white one. And then I have my pink backpack purse that is probably my favorite. So then if I'm traveling on a big trip, so if I'm taking a flight to go to a different state to visit someone, I bring both of these crosses. And a lot of times they will actually fit in my purse. I also can put them in my suitcase or laptop case, something like that. So this is the first present my fiance ever got me. And then this is the St. Damiano one, but in the bigger form. So then in one of my bigger purses, I keep this little sweet wooden cross. One of my subscribers gave it to me. So then the most interesting thing in this video, I keep this little cute flower. So many Catholic things in this. I always switch this between purses depending on which one I use. I have a ton of holy cards. I collect these. This one woman at my parish is always giving them out. You can also buy them at Catholic stores. Love prayer cards. I'm gonna go through each of them, but what I use prayer cards for is, like I said, with the headphones and listening to the Bible and books and everything, there are so many times when you're waiting in line at an appointment or you're on public transportation, you got to mass early, there's so many free moments throughout the day. You can just take your prayer card, read the prayer, but really think about it and meditate on it and mean it when you're praying it. And a lot of times I'll read through it four or five times. So the first prayer card I have is right, right back here, the painting of Jesus. This is St. Faustina who had the vision and that was the painting and everything. And I have a prayer card of the original St. Faustina, Jesus pray for me. This is the new version of the painting. This is the original one, which looks quite different, but there are prayers on both. I will put the back of the prayer on the screen if you wanna pause and read it. So this one is St. Joseph. We're currently in the year of St. Joseph. St. Joseph, universal protector of the church, deliver us from Christ, 
19. So then I have Jesus with the Eucharist making the super iconic hand sign. And then this is St. Ignatius of Loyola. Mary crowned queen in heaven hanging out with some angels. This is my second favorite prayer of the prayer card. So definitely pause and read. So then we have the 12 apostles at the last supper, the first Eucharist. I'm gonna read the prayers on this right now because it's my absolute favorite prayer card. So beautiful. It says, help me, O Lord, that my eyes may be merciful so that I may never suspect or judge from appearances, but look for what is beautiful in my neighbor's souls and come to their rescue. Help me, O Lord, that my ears may be merciful so that I may give heed to my neighbor's needs and not be indifferent to their pains and moanings. Help me, O Lord, that my tongue may be merciful so that I should never speak negatively of my neighbor, but have a word of comfort and forgiveness for all. Help me, O Lord, that my hands may be merciful and filled with good deeds, so that I may do only good to my neighbors and take upon myself the more difficult and toilsome tasks. Help me, O Lord, that my feet may be merciful, so that I may hurry to assist my neighbor, overcoming my own fatigue and weariness. Help me, O Lord, that my heart may be merciful, so that I myself may feel all the sufferings of my neighbor. So as you can tell, there's so much depth in these prayers, so much to think about. So if you come to mass five or 10 minutes early, grab this prayer card, read it, meditate on it for five or 10 minutes. So then this rosary box is super cute. It has Pope Francis. And then on the back, Peter's Basilica. And then this rosary is super so beautiful. One of my subscribers slash friends gave this to me. It's a very interesting crucifixion depiction. And then it actually has Pope Francis on it, which is so cool. In my Catholic Ziploc bag that had everything I showed, I also keep one of my fiance's rosaries, which is super sweet, just so I can feel closer to him. And if we're ever hanging out together, because obviously he doesn't carry around a purse and so I always have his rosary if we want to pray together. So the next thing I see inside this leopard print bag is a ton of pens and highlighters in so many different colors. A lot of times I'll bring a book if I'm going somewhere. So instead of always remembering to grab a pen, I just keep a ton of them. And I love annotating with rainbow highlighters and everything. I wanted to show you, I just got a new pack of these. They're from Amazon, I'll link them below. I've had to get so many because of the Father Mike Schmidt's Bible in a year. I'm running through so many highlighters. And then the pens that I use, I will put a link in the video description. They're just the Pilot G2 pens. So next, I keep wired headphones in my purse in case I forget my AirPods. I listen to so much music. I also listen to podcasts, audiobooks. I made my whole video on Catholic apps two weeks ago, and there's a lot of content in those apps of what to listen to if you're commuting to work, walking around, public transportation, at the beach, waiting in line for an appointment. There's so many situations where instead of being bored, you can just have your headphones and listen to the Bible, listen to a Catholic audiobook, so many options. So then I have my keychain and I have my tiny saints, which I'll link below if you don't know what it is. But this is my, my nail is covering him up. This is Irenaeus, my patron saint. And then on the back, it says St. Irenaeus, pray for us. They sell these on their website and on Amazon. They have so many different saints. Your patron saint will probably be there. So then I have some rosaries. I keep one in every purse so that I never forget wherever I go. I can pray if I'm waiting in line, if I'm at mass early, if I stay at mass later, I always have a rosary. So this one, my sponsor at my confirmation gifted me. There's... Jesus is backwards. There is Jesus and then Our Lady of Guadalupe and then blue beading, super sweet. And then the most elaborate one, it's the roses. I will link this below. It's from Christian Catholic Shop, but it just has gigantic roses. It's constantly breaking. Every time I visit my fiance, he fixes it with what I call the rosary fixing kit, but I think it's just called a pliers or something. So then inside the purple pouch is my favorite rosary. It's little like clay watercolor beads. It's really, really pretty. 
there's Jesus, and then Mary is Our Lady of Guadalupe. Then I have a mirror, like most women probably do. And then I have two hair ties in every purse, so I never forget. If it's really hot outside, I can always put my hair up. Although, I don't really need that anymore because I have converted to scrunchies. I always wear one, even if my hair is not gonna go up, just to look cute. So I always have them now. So then this is something I recently got. It is rose gold and you open it up and it has a metal straw that extends. And so you can use it at any restaurant you go to, if you get coffee, say no, don't accept a straw. Something really important I just learned, if you're going out to eat and the waiter comes and puts straws on the table, even if you don't use them, they still get thrown away. So when the waiter comes say, no, 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 I don't want straws. And you could just use your portable straw, buy it for your friends and family, so they'll have it too. So then I have a mask in every bag, just so that I don't forget since I'm back. I'm not constantly wearing it every time I go out the door. I have some hand sanitizer and actually this super came in handy. When I was in the Bahamas, I was at mass and everyone took out hand sanitizer and sanitized their hands before walking up to receive the Eucharist, not just the priest, but everyone. So I was really happy I had it so they wouldn't judge me as an American who doesn't care about I hope our country doesn't have that reputation. I'm just always aware when I'm in other countries that Americans can get bad reputations for certain things and so I always try to be a good representative of our country. Also, I have my reusable grocery bag. This gets really small. It actually came in like a really tiny square zipper pouch where you can like make it small and put it in there for storage, but my purses can fit this if I just bundle it up. So this is super cute, super strong. I always have it with me, even if I didn't know I was gonna go grocery shopping or let's say I go to CVS to pick up something. I always have my bag so I do not have to get plastic or paper bags. We really all need to do our part to take care of the earth and little things like bringing your own bag, metal straw, and not eating meat are really, really important to reverse climate change. And coming up in September or October is going to be my video, Why Meat is the Number One Cause of Global Warming with all the research in it. So look out for that video. And by stop eating meat, even if you're never gonna be fully vegan, just limit the amount of meat you eat and that will help a lot. You can incorporate the Wednesday Friday fast. I'll link below and up here the video I made about it. But in the Middle Ages and early church, Christians didn't eat meat every Wednesday and Friday. So start doing that. There's a lot of other aspects of the fast as well, but if you want to be really connected with Christians through the years, being vegan on Wednesday and Friday is a great way to do it. Okay, so that is my what's in my bag video. I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.